Last week I made a video about a necromancer that I accidentally locked in a basement while the rest of my fortress collapsed. It's two and a half minutes long, so check it out if you want a bit more context for what this adventure is all about. Going into this adventure, I had no clue what I would find when I got back to the site of my former fortress, especially considering it is right next door to a necromancer tower. I'm terrible at adventure mode, and because of that I barely ever play it, so I had never visited an abandoned fortress in all my time playing Dwarf Fortress. The necromancer I had accidentally imprisoned was Kogan Flanked Wheel, and so it was obvious that given the opportunity, I should choose to be a warrior of Kogan on a journey to rescue the necromancer that had created me. I was more interested in the destination and finding some answers on this journey than the path that it would take me to get there, so I bumped the status up to Demigod to try to avoid any problems. The Dwarven Mountain Hills of Holsack was made my starting point because of its proximity to the site of my former fortress. My character was named Asmel Brainroofs, and she was buffed in strength, agility, toughness, endurance, recuperation, focus, and disease resistance. Basically anything I thought would help me not get murdered wandering into necromancer lands. I also made her a Grandmaster Hammerman, and equipped her with a steel hammer so I could squish anything that looked at me the wrong way. With my character made and my equipment together, it was time for an adventure to rescue a necromancer. The adventure began in the depths of Holsack, with nary a sign to point me to a way out. I wandered this way and that, and found mostly metalsmiths' forges. Eventually a staircase led me to a large hallway. With two choices of where to go, I picked one at random and set off. This began a long series of double backs, switcheroos, and twisty turnies. At various points, I found myself on a floor with nothing but closets full of clothes, a vast mushroom farm stretching as far as the eye could see, and even more forge rooms. After reaching the conclusion to the south side of the hallway, I had to make the trek all the way back to where I started and then continue down the north side of the hallway. Spiderwebs had been my bane while I slowly wandered the southern hallway, but now they stood no chance. I simply pressed forward and watched as I picked up momentum until the spiderwebs were simply blasted out of my way in my pursuit of the exit. After a couple minutes of full speed sprinting, I finally reached something I hadn't seen yet. A staircase. I climbed and climbed, praying that it would reach the surface and I eventually popped out next to a trade depot in a large room. Finally, I had reached the surface 35 minutes after I set off on this adventure. Unfortunately, it was dark outside, and I didn't know if boogeymen would still harass me, even though I was playing as a necromancer's experiment, so I took a little nap until daybreak. With the sun out and shining, I set off in the general direction I thought I needed to go. After wandering around for a while in quick travel, I eventually noticed that there is a map key, which it turns out is pretty useful for finding your way. As I began approaching the territory for the necromancer tower that my previous fort had been settled next to, it began once again turning to night. Considering the navigation problems I was having during the day, I chose to spend the night in a human settlement. After briefly talking to a couple of lightly creepy humans, I moved on from the town and continued my journey south to the site of my former fortress. Upon arrival, it seemed to me that there were some additional bodies that I had not left there. I looked around and eventually found the old entrance to my fort. I took the stairs down a few levels to see what was there. Mostly dead bodies, it turns out, which I probably should have expected, especially considering I had been there when they got murdered. Finally, it was time. I went up to the level I had trapped Kogan the Necromancer on, and approached the entrance. After a slight misfire where I triggered the wrong floodgate, because I forgot which one was for what, it was the moment of truth. I opened the floodgate and went inside and found… nothing. I searched all the floors of his tower basement and he was nowhere to be found, not even as a body. I quickly starved myself by the well so I could check legends mode. I searched for him in the historical figures and sure enough there he was. Kogan flanked wheel, dwarven necromancer, born 85, died 202. Allegedly he died of starvation, but surely that is impossible. It says on the wiki page that necromancers need no food or drink, and there was no body to be found. It feels like there's trickery afoot, a faked death perhaps. Maybe I was not the first of Kogan's experiments to embark on an expedition to save him. Maybe he's just laying low somewhere for the time being, waiting for his grand return. I know I should accept the truth, but in my heart I just have to hold on to the hope that one day a dwarf named Not Kogan arrives at my fortress wielding the power to raise the dead. But for real, I hope Kogan is out there having been reanimated and turned into some sort of hellish monster managing a dark pit somewhere. It's what my necro manager would have wanted. <laughs>